Darn it. Where'd they go? They had to go this way. Keep your eyes open. Ugh. I think they're gone. Whew. I think we managed to evade them. But there isn't any point hiding here. We have to get over this mountain to get away. Let's go as soon as we're ready, Replica. Yep, that's right, guys. This is Replica Bonus, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Last episode, we were escaping from the mob that was trying to kill me. That's actually not a joke. This episode, we're still in the middle of escaping. And since we are on the run, we cannot go back to town for any reason. But they were nice enough to give us this nice spot right here where we can work on our items. So, while I'm still here, take one of those. I'm going to try something with that one. Take a few of those. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Anyway, we are going to be going through Mount Blaze. I'm not going to be taking the rock path. I normally, whenever I play this game, never take the rock path. I always go through Mount Blaze itself. I guess I'm a glutton for punishment that way. But anyway, here we go. Mount Blaze, floor one. And they start us off in an open room with a Pidgeot in both directions. Jerks. Okay, Euphoric, after the first leap, see, you don't have to do it again. Yeah. I'm actually not very fond of Mount Blaze at the moment. I have been having horrible luck with Mount Blaze. And as you can see why, I am losing health like crazy. I mean, this is only the second floor. I am at less than 50% health. Give me... Give me one moment real quick, guys. I'm having to deal with dogs again. I'm not. Okay. Sorry about that. Apparently, one of them just does not want to listen to me. Let's get my level up over with. Can I not regain health before being attacked by something else? It's bad enough they're all... Well, actually, I don't mind right now. They're all attacking you for it. Sorry, man. But it seems like that's all they want to do. Jeez. I want to regain health, and I'm surrounded. Hey. Anyway, now I wanted to get this news out a little bit sooner, so I apologize for not getting it out as soon as I wanted it to, but 
For those of you who play Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, if you play either of those games, you need to go to a McDonald's or a have a really good internet connection that is nearby one. You can get the Pokemon Hoopa from McDonald's right now. Or from the internet connection that they use or whatever it is. And you can add Hoopa to your Pokemon games. Now, Hoopa will be coming to you at level 50 with the moves Nasty Plot, Hyper... Ah, hyper Base Hole, I believe that's what it's called. Psychic and Astonish. Now, Hyperspace Hole... Oh, great, I'm out of scratch. Anyway, Hyperspace Hole is an attack that works very similar to the way Phantom Force and Shadow Force work. Which, the nose moves, the user vanishes, only to reappear behind the Pokemon that they're attacking to deal massive damage. I'm getting tired of dealing with Numo! I get through with this area, the happier I'll be. Because I have been having some very bad luck with this area. Then again, I normally have bad luck with this area. Then again, considering what Pokemon I'm being forced to use right now, yeah. I mean, you got me being a Charmander, which is decent, but then we have Euphoric being Bulbasaur and this is not an area for Bulbasaurs. I mean, not even five minutes in, we're dealing with Magbees, New Moles, Pidgeots. And what's worse is I know what's coming up. I'll just say one of the Pokemon coming up has one of the cheapest ways to get through this game super, super quick. And I have no way of getting either of the moves that they have. But I'm getting tired of getting hit with fire and it's doing almost half my health. Anyway, like I was saying with Hoopa, he comes as level 50, has those four moves, Hyperspace Hole, where it's just like Phantom Force and Shadow Force, except like it except for it is a psychic attack, not a ghost move that does this. So it's nice to see that little change. But it also unlocks a item event that is inside the game. Whenever you have the Pokemon Hoopa or Hoopa Unbound, since that's, or not Hoopa Unbound, but Hoopa, so whenever you have Hoopa enter your game, you can go to the Pokemart to get a item that is a special event item just for Hoopa that allows it to change its form. Now, one thing is is that it is a time-based form. And you cannot stop it on your own. If you're wondering, yes, I've already tried. Where are the stairs?
because I am almost out of attacks. Okay, this is only the seventh floor. Here's another Pokemon. Slugma. Really? I'm already down to just having Ember and Growl. Oh, shoot. Freaking Flash Fire. I'm not having much luck at all right now. I st if I'm not mistaken, I still got three more floors after this one. That's how bad my luck is at the moment. I, mean, I don't want to say anything that will probably jinx me, but... No, I'm not going to say it. I kind of forgot what I was talking about. I mean, other than Hoopa and Hoopa and Unbound. Oh yeah, Hoopa Unbound. After you get the prison bottle from the event I was talking about, and that's the actual name of the item that is given out, you'll be able to change Hoopa into its Unbound form. Which will allow you to use Hoopa Unbound and because it is technically a form change, it does have a few differences. For example, Hoopa, the regular Hoopa, is a psychic ghost type with some decent stats for being both those types. For learning Razor Leaf. Let's forget Vine Whip. In all honesty, I like Razor Leaf much more than Vine Whip. Unbound has the ability to learn the move. Am I really out of item space? Jeez. Didn't think I was going through here that's slow slash fast. You know what? Let me go ahead and just eat the apple. Anyway, Hoopa, the regular Hoopa is a psychic ghost type, while Hoopa Unbound loses its ghost typing and gains, I forgot, it has flash fire. Anyway, it gets rid of its ghost typing to get dark and becomes a psychic dark. Now, there is some good things and bad things about that. Even though it does become a 
psychic when you first get it, it is psychic ghost the good thing is is that when it turns to its psychic dark type it loses a weakness the reason I say it loses a weakness is that whenever you use it as a psychic ghost it is weak to ghost and dark and when I mean weak I mean it's got four times weakness to it yeah that could be detrimental and whenever you get it to turn into its unbound form it becomes a psychic dark type which makes it resistant to dark as well as ghosts making it just do regular damage for both it gains a weakness to bug being four times weak to it which isn't necessarily a bad thing with it being a bug having a huge bug weakness I mean for one not a lot of people happen to use bugs anymore think of what else to talk about well then again I can say that my luck actually isn't as bad as I'm making it out to be at the moment I was able to get a few more cards booster packs and all that and open those up which by the way if you happen to be listening Kurosen I pulled another full art Mewtwo EX so yeah Salt in the wound. Anyway, we are now technically through the first half of this dungeon, even though it's not really a half. However, the next part has the Pokemon I hate the most because it has an attack that does way too much damage because of what it does. And let me just put it this way no Pokemon in XY Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire keeps the attack for very long. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is the only game I know where you want to have the attacks. Anyway, let's keep going. Mount Blaze Peak. And with my luck, I'll probably run into the Pokemon I don't want to deal with right off the bat. No, actually, I don't mind Arcanine. Really? Go away! Cheap little bastard! Arse! Stop it! Yeah, the sad thing is, is it's not the Arcanine I hate. Arcanines aren't that bad. Normally. At least it's giving me a chance to eat. There it is! Firo! And that is why I am very glad it's got I got Razor Leaf on him. That was the move. Freaking Fury attack and it keeps going even after. No. We're going to the next floor.
And I'm using that Orenberry. I want my 100 health. Recovery in. Freaking Feroes! Yeah, Fury Attack and any moves that are like Fury Attack and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon are overpowered. Because the only thing that comes close to even doing something like that is having a linked attack that hits multiple times. And I have nothing that does that. Closest thing I can get to anything near that is euphoric putting them to sleep with sleep powder. Otherwise, I'm just up a creek. Sleep powder more than once, you s Euphoric, I'm pretty sure your Pokemon version or your Pokemon self is trying to kill me. Because I'm being annoyed by one thing over here. Frick! I don't want to go to the next spot. I'm not going to have fun. Is this it? Is this Mount Blaze's summit? Wow. This is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow... I didn't get a chance to finish reading that because I pushed the button too soon. This might also have a link to the natural calamities. Ugh. It's like a furnace. I'm getting roasted. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking of garlic whenever he says that. I don't want to spend any time in a place this dangerous. Let's get through this quick. Halt! Huh? What? It suddenly turned dark? I can hear the mountain screams. It is shrieking in pain. Someone is causing Mount Blaze to writhe in agony. Is it you? Huh? You've got it wrong. It's not us. We just happen to be passing through here. Who are you, anyway? Show yourself. The mountain's rage is my rage. I am Moltres. The warrior of fire am I. There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. On guard! Okay. Well, I'm gonna use the... Really? I can't use the Petrify Orb? Ha! I wish I had more of those. I'm switching the power for this special. It was already asleep. This is when you want to use the other. This is when you use sleep powder, not razor leaf. Crit. No, no, no. Go down. Oh, just barely. <laughs> mm. 
Ugh. I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. Wait, listen. We're not here to cause trouble. We're here only because we were chased here. You have to realize this mountain is the o isn't the only place that's suffering. Natural calamities are occurring all over the place. We're fugitives now, so we can't do anything. But we want to help other Pokemon that are suffering from these natural disasters. Hmm. Do you say that sincerely? It's true. Please believe me. If you think I'm lying, look at my eyes. <laughs> Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. Ugh, that was scary. It felt like my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that rack our world. And stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not possible right now, but... Ah, we will! We'll get on it! We're being hunted so we can't get to it right away, but we're a rescue team. We'll investigate what's behind the natural calamities. I promise. I will hold you to that promise. You've made me believe that you will honor that promise. If you do not forget the courage you showed fa in facing me. Ah, is, is there anything else? No, I was only preparing to take off. Uh, does it need to do that? Farewell. <sighs> yeah, that was scary. But I'm glad Moltres understood us. That was key. Anyway, let's get off Mount Blaze ourselves. We sure walked a lot. I'm pushed. Let's rest up. Hmm. The view's fantastic. Oh, look, replica. Look over there. See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've come a really long way, haven't we? Replica, do you remember how hard it was to get across Mount Blaze? I don't think too many Pokemon can get through there. And then we gave it our all to get out here. Do you know what I'm thinking? We've come so far, maybe there aren't any more Pokemon that can get to us. Uh, no, there are others. Oh? There's someone else? What? Who do you mean? Oh, I get it. There's Alakazam. You're right. Alakazam's team should be able to get here. Yep. We don't have any we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. Let's be positive and keep moving. Huh? What's the matter? Aren't you coming, Replica? Huh? Am I tired? They're chasing us down. We can't afford to rest. And I told you already. I said I would go with you, Replica. Oh, come on. No need for that long face. I'm fine. Let's go, Replica. I'll go wherever you go. And so Replica's harrowing journey continued. Seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. They crossed row upon row of mountains. Forded fetid swamps scaled frozen cliffs, till finally, Replica's tiny team arrived in a world of snow, a frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. And this is going to be it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we will be going through that harsh winter wonderland. 
That is actually sad that I'm referencing Christmas because of that. Game! Why do you set the puns up? I am not Chugga Conroy. I am not people that me and a bunch of the other Fortress Core members know who annoy us with puns. Don't set me up for things like that. Ugh. Anyway, we'll be going through that frigid place in the next episode. Until then, guys, this is Replica Phonist of Fortis Core, signing off.